Hello. Welcome to the first of a series of eight lectures that are beginning the, the SciArc Forum. Um, I want to explain a few things before I introduce our speaker, Coy Howard. Um, in conjunction with the series, we are running an exhibit of work of the nine people that are discussing their work. That'll start Tuesday the 9th. And it isn't in this space. It's in the Architectural Gallery, which is at 209 San Juan in Venice. Um, for those of you that don't know Venice, that's just off of Main Street, a little north of the traffic circle by the Ace Gallery. Um, I think it's a, a unique opportunity to be able to look at, a, at this work in a very different type of a format. Um, I think it's an opportunity to see the work in terms of its value as, as conceptual pieces and its kind of dual nature is related to a process towards built work as well as um, a piece in itself as an artifact. Um, tonight, giving the introduction is Coy Howard. Um, Coy recently joined our faculty. He's an architect, an educator. Um, I found out he's also a filmmaker and graphic designer. His work, uh, among other places, has been exhibited at the Leica Gallery, the Rhode Island School of Design, Otis, and the Drawing Center in New York. He recently, um, very recently, won two PA awards that will be coming up in the next issue. And I think is going to offer a particularly interesting insight as, as a, a person that's going to re basically review the work of these nine people and the fact that he himself um, would really be one of these people and offers kind of an inside kind of viewpoint. His talk is Erosion, Discontinuity, Incompleteness, Transformation, A Critical Review of Recent Work in LA, Part 1. That's a pretty good sentence. And I've uh, been told to tell you that the, sli the slides are out of focus intentionally. Coy Howard. Can we kill these lights, please? This is Topeka Boulevard. You are one of the shadowless east-west routes. You start or end or neither in breezy Santa Monica. You are one off-ramp on the Santa Monica freeway. You side all long-distance traffic to the Santa Monica freeway. You are the back door of Century City, ass end of the Avenue of the Stars, point at Beverly Hills, then bend unconcerned away. You sulk past Hillcrest Country Club, fences and high foliage, offended and offending. You dawdle through the endless, blurry, nameless reaches of central LA. You duck under the Harbor Freeway into so-called downtown, to which you lend your irrepressible shabbiness. You consist of asphalt, cement, and largely cheapish small buildings. You have a dustily marginal air. You seem immunized against the showy. You favor the gross wholesaler and the odd small business. You look unphotographed. You are unthronged. You are familiar addressed for stop and go businesses. You are unlike Swift Olympic, purposeful Santa Monica, wishful Wilshire, nerve-wracking sunset. You are the back of the turned back of the city. You are broad and dry. You are blessedly unfoliaged. You jerk through the city, stoplight to stoplight, like a blunt knife through an unfeeling body. You are impenetrably and dumb, abstracted in the sun. You abstractly acknowledge the sun. You do not care. You are Los Angeles and not Los Angeles. You have unlimited 
because unneeded parking. You make every pedestrian look like a thief. You are a deserted mansion of air. You are honest and without illusions and no spoiled illusions because no one ever had any illusions concerning you. You are fiercely depressing. You are poetic, obviously. You are the typical address of a chiropractor. You laze in the afternoons like a long, flat cat. You are late afternoons, almost beautiful, light-soaked. You are destroyed by twilight. You are dead in the night of your feverish streetlights. You are ruins in the night, post-nuclear site of mountainous gloom vapor suicide alley. You are inhuman, horizontal, monstrous in the night. You feature in the night a few beery, low wattage Mexican joints, a few gas stations, some lighted signs. You feature no haven. You inform the visitor that something is wrong here. You inform the restless, nervous, uprooted visitor. You inform him that where he has come to is a joke on him, and you're not kidding. You do not care. You look uncared about. You look unintended, uncalculated, uncomplimented by anyone ever until this moment. You look to be the forlorn historical accident you are. You are like a side street with elephantitis. You are a great place for a murder. You are a great place for the murder of an obscure transient person by another obscure transient person. You are without remorse, remorseless. You are innocent with the innocence of a homicidal moron. You inform the visitor that sky, light, air, that nature is not worth caring about. You inform the visitor that humanity is not worth caring about. You are a self-fulfilling prophecy. You would taste chalky if you had a taste. You would smell of dry rust if you had a smell. You would be, if a sound, a faint, distant rattling. You would be grainy to the touch of a hardness gradually crumbling. You would be to the inner sense and are the paradox of a grandiose humility. You are the spirit of littleness lordly in the sun. You are a parade route for entropy. You lay across the city like a UFO runway. You complacently anticipate a horrible future. You are stronger than love, than intelligence, than energy. You are a spiritual fault that has slipped, toppling the, the better, flimsy construction of human aspiration. You are the secret of the city, the incision that reveals its heart of stone. You inscribe on the map a vast, mean smirk upside down. You attract me. I am yours. I return to you. You resonate to a well-known old emptiness. You are intimate, you whisper, you hiss. <laughs>